Good evening, everyone. I was asked to give a blessing. May all beings be free. May all beings be free. Where there is no peace and no justice, may peace and justice establish themselves. May the lives of people be filled with joy and ease. And may every living being be treated with respect, free of internal and external violence. May greed and exploitation cease, replaced by beloved community and caring. May the practice of nonviolence become a light in Oakland, that we may awaken, see the path, and travel it together. May our children and elders be well cared for and surrounded by love. May all beings live in safety, happiness, and health. And by our work and prayers, May this great task be swiftly accomplished. One more time. Good evening. Good evening. How many people have been to one of our workshops? So at the very least, you all know that we're not going to let you get away with such a quiet good evening. So let me try that one more time. Good evening. Good evening. If the universe is indeed on the side of justice, then we'll only get back than what we give into it. Right? It's about what we put out there and the efforts that we make in our communities that we're going to see those returns. Um, I'd like to start off by sharing a quick story. This was, uh, when was that first workshop that we did? 2008? About 2008 was the first King in Nonviolence workshop that was held in Oakland. And I was actually just one of the participants. Globe here was the trainer. There were a total of six of us participants in the training. Um, and even though we were a little bit disappointed with that turnout, I took that training and was just on fire. King in Nonviolence became the way I viewed the world. And so since then, I've really been, been studying and practicing King in Nonviolence and, and really trying to figure out a better way to make the changes that we all recognize that we need. The anarchists that are smashing the windows, the young kids that were smashing the windows, everyone recognizes that we all need change. We may have different understandings of how to get there, but we all know that something is not right. That something is not right and we all have the same vision for the society that we want to create. We may have different ways of getting there, but we're all trying to get to the same place. And that's really one of the things that King and Nonviolence taught me. Now, when we started this year, as of January 1st, we had one two-day workshop scheduled in Oakland, just one. We didn't have any, we, of course we hoped to organize more, but we didn't have plans for any more. September, so we're nine months into it, we've had 35 trainings around the country this year. As of this weekend's workshop, which I hope some of you will join us for, as of this weekend's workshop will surpass 1,000 people, just this year alone. We are uh, getting ready to do our second youth workshop in Oakland. Um, the first one was in collaboration with three youth organizations, Youth Alive, Bay Peace, and Youth Spirit Artworks. Um, and we have some youth from Bay Peace as well as Youth Spirit Artworks who's going to come bless the mic and share some poetry with us. So. Um, so Bay Peace is a youth-led organization um, that's located in two schools, Met West and Oakland and Liliana is a pop test And what we do is we're, we go around schools and we tell other youth about um, the military recruitment and so we recruit youth away from military recruitment. So a lot of the things that Bay Peace has done in the past years that I've been involved is we've hosted tablings, um, we've created a music video, we've um, done a lot of poetry murmurs, a lot of um, skits, um, 
I don't know, a lot of, a lot of things that engage the youth um, and make them want to, to continue joining our program, but in a way that also informs other youth of what um, peace is and how um, to create it. Tell me double down cause I'm too complicated or I'll never make it. My bars over their head so they don't understand it but I cut the cactus and let it be clear. There's no growing message in Chris with it. There's nothing you hear. It's more important that we dance. We try to live for the better. We try to live without words and we look flat but never sweater. When stuff get hard and rough we start blaming it on each other. Just relax and know that your mother. What's that? You had a better mother or better home. Even when it's sticks and stones build your home out of your home and turn it to a better home. Comfort zone, turn the competition when you keep on pacing in circles and wishing that everyone will leave you alone. It's a cold world without the J, but I take a shot at the ball in my way. And if it never show up, I'll make it with my chances right now. Listen up, I got something to say. I'm a champ. Okay. <laughs> to not stir conflict between the pro military, we also say that. Military is not your only option. We're not saying, okay, we are, for our personal belief, we are against it. But just not stir conflict, because we all trying to get together. There are other alternatives for you besides. The military is not your only option. So I, I just want to put that out there. Okay? So I love y'all. Thank y'all so much. <laughs> well, my name is Marshawn, and I work at uh, G-Sphere Artworks. Uh, it's a... It's a corporatization, excuse me, well, it's a group of, it's like our family, pretty much. Our family together, we, we help each other through our artwork, we help each other, which is just helping in everyday life, you know, and ever since I started working there, it's been a blessing for me because it showed me things that I never thought I could do. It, it, it taught me a lesson where, it's, you shouldn't be afraid because you don't know. And you shouldn't be afraid to ask for some help, you know, where, where you can just, you know what I mean, write something, you know, just be like, hey, can you, can you just hear me real quick? Can you listen to what I have to say? It's, it's nice being heard, you know, and I didn't realize it until I really just started straight from poetry. Every day is a struggle. Every blessing is a gift. Paying attention to only what's presented, not affected by the message. Peace is the movement, but not everybody listen to Brother King. Love without violence is the message that it brings. It's not that hard if you think, like newborns, boys who are blue and girls who are pink, who are all in sync. Wondering what it was that made us hate each other, knowing that we can achieve once we all get together. Doing the right thing doesn't hurt. But when you get together, it should have been a work. Thanks. But as far as you said, um, many folks are like, do you guys do anything anywhere else? Yeah, we do other stuff in other places around the country. We've been fortunate to be able to go to uh, Chicago, as far as we mentioned, <coughs> North Lawndale College Prep Academy, where we've been doing a program up there for the last four years, training what they would call their student leaders to train their incoming freshmen. So that's how they've been doing it. They've actually made peace cool. If you're violent, you, they don't want you there. It's not cool to be violent, believe it or not. In a place called Chicago, where there's over 500 citizens murdered a year, we were fortunate enough to go up to work with some people who we've been working with for a while that I was introduced to through Dr. Lafayette in Tucson, Arizona. There's a center out there called the Nonviolence Legacy Project. We've been working extremely hard, extremely hard, trying to bring forth the beloved community out there. And Kazu was able to go out there. While Kazu was out in Tucson, I was fortunate enough to go to uh, Dr. Lafayette's old stomping grounds, which would be Selma, Alabama. We were down in Selma working with a group called the Freedom Foundation. The Freedom Foundation works specifically with the youth of Selma. One of the gentlemen we met in the prison or the jail the other day is from Birmingham, and he thought the South had changed. There's still crosses being burned down there, y'all. This is just 
a little while ago. So we've been working a lot with that group in South Alabama. They have some awesome kids. They're from a group, they have a, a group called Ratco, and it's Random Acts of Theater Company. So they do dances, they do plays, they travel around the country to do that type of stuff. And I challenged them to come up with a video. Uh, I gave them about seven days to do so. They came up with a video that they wanted to share with you guys to celebrate the International Day of Peace with us. So, <laughs> so from Oakland to Selma, right? The spirit is the same. Oakland, Selma, Chicago, even to my little hometown of Providence, Rhode Island. And from coast to coast, as Kaiser and I were joking today, we got people watching from Rhode Island to Hawaii on the live stream. Hi, Mom. Yeah, my mom too. What's up, Mom? His mom's in Hawaii, mine's in Rhode Island. So we know we at least got people that far apart watching this information. And we're just shaking up for our moms, y'all. Please shake it up. <laughs> Please, if you don't mind, get on your feet and let's shake it up. The doctor, the doctor, the doctor, the doctor. 